So the original plan for today was to go to Aquatica. Yeah. Well, it was originally to go no, to Bush, Bush Gardens. Gardens, and then halfway through Disney yesterday, we're like, no, let's change it to Aquatica. And uh, after Disney yesterday, we changed it to let's go shopping. So let's go to the mall. Yeah, today. So we woke up a little bit later this morning, and we're gonna go to the mall. We're gonna go get some breakfast, go get some dinner and stuff like that. It'll be like a relaxing day, but still we're gonna go to the outlet centers. So it's not gonna be as relaxing as it could be because it's still gonna be like relaxing Florida style. <laughs> Crazy, huge outlet mall ridiculousness. And uh, we'll get back into like the craziness tomorrow. We're gonna go to Bush Gardens, right? Is that the plan? That's the plan. And then Friday, you'll see. I'm really confused. Why is the N movable? Oh, it goes from open to nope. Gotcha. Yeah, first watch. Figured we would show the Brits the good stuff. Yes, first watch. This is delicious. <laughs> Chocolate chip pancake, doing it right. We brought them to Best Buy and they're like freaking out because everything's so cheap here. Well, compared to what you guys can get it over back home. What is this, a camera for ants? Needs to be at least three times this size. We're going to uh, Orlando Premium Outlets. This is the whole new section over here. They just built this. This used to be where Dixie Stampede was. There's a Forever 21 of Volcom, Tommy Bahama, Famous Footwear, Tiva, North Face, Gap Kids, and uh, I don't know what that is. Sex? Oh, because it's off off the rack, right? And this is a uh, Dick's Last Resort, where apparently they're like super mean to you. Doesn't actually look like it's open yet. I think it is. We'll check it out. There's like a, there's a warning sign up here that tells you about what's going on. I like this view better. Hey, Jack. Jack. Hey, what's up, Doc? Hey. <laughs> How's it yeah, going? Not Welcome bad. to Dick's Last Resort. Oh, We're buttholes nice. here. We get paid to be dicks. If you guys don't know, bring all your friends. We'll treat you real good. <laughs> Come and give you that service with that song anthem. Give it to your Ralph Kelly here. She'll take good care of you too. She'll have to be on YouTube. They got like a million bajillion subscribers, honey. We're gonna be like all over that thing they call that YouTube. So far, she's only been slightly mean to us, but she's like warming up to yeah. us though. She's gonna make us wear silly hats and stuff. I'll be sad wait. if she doesn't, though. <laughs> they, she turned you into a palace guard, right? Or a beef eater. He can't yeah. talk. He can't talk. Oh, yeah, you have to stand completely he stern. Be, he could have been better! <laughs> it's pretty good. How does it look? Do I look very, like, American? And you look very British? They're totally singing to us right now, by the way. I believe I'm the one that took you to Space Mountain. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think you married down? I mean, my hat says it all, right? <laughs> All right. Well, I guess so. That was a fun little like uh, field trip outing to to Dick's. Let's go to the information store. Yeah. What? I gotta pee. All right. Well, go I wanna have a wee. Is this? Are I we? Are we still being we rude? Really like all the people? Like, go ahead, right here in the parking lot. You know that we live in the future because our Coke machines flash all over the place. So for you guys that are not from around here, these are our outlets. Which this is, I think I just told you guys, this is the new section, but there's still the old section over there. And we're getting a map right now. Look at this map. This map is not just a map. It's like an entire booklet of things. It's like a magazine. Yeah. Look at that. And it this has is a shopper's guide. Oh, nice. Kippins? Kippins. Oh, 50% off uh, engagement oh, see, rings. Free yacht tote when you buy your. Ah. So this thing says it has a refund guaranteed delivery sensor. So I'm wondering if you put your money in, type in your number, but hold the door open so that it falls and lands on that little shelf, yes. and then you get yes. your money back, and then you close the door, do you get free snacks? So here's the thing. We're bringing these guys around to the outlets because we don't normally come to the outlets. So it's turning out they're not so outlet-y. <laughs> like they're a little bit expensive. This is after one beer, guys. One. What did he do? Being crazy. Oh, so, uh, and we were looking, like I, my new balance that I just got, they are, they weren't made in America, the ones that I bought. Really, most of them are made in America, but they were made in Indonesia. The ones here at the outlet were made in Vietnam. Doesn't sound right. I know, it's like made for outlet stuff, but they're still just as expensive. I think I paid less for the ones that I got, actually. So far, everybody has bought something except for Tim. Aww. Look at that, Jen got this pretty dress for her to wear to Playlist Live. So when did Crushed Velvet come into style, and why? We walked over to the other part, uh, after the girls spent, I don't know, like two hours in Forever 21. And now we get to shop where we want to shop, like electronics and um, 
Hammer uh, shops. Ha hammer shops? Is that what you said? Hammer shops. Hammer shops. We're gonna shop for hammers. We finally made it to the inside of the mall, and now we're gonna go find something. We're looking for the outlet a and root beer, or Starbucks. That's what it looks like. So the girls had the map for the first, I don't know, two hours that we've been here, and we were just over at the other section, and they couldn't figure out why they couldn't find anything. It's because they were looking at the wrong map. I picked it up and found out where we're at. Daryl's coming dangerously close to pretty woman status with all of his bags. <laughs> Literally, this place is so big, we have gone down one aisle, and we are, have been here for like 17 hours, and we've gone into five stores. That's it. So if you guys are planning on going to uh, the outlet malls, then just be prepared for an entire day's worth of shopping. Jen found a pair of Converse that would fit not her. Me. Not me, UK this Jen, because my UK feet are not me, Jen. small enough. But um, she had to go down to children's size, <laughs> and these are Velcro Converse, so she'll never tie them. She just has to Velcro them. That's awesome. It's pretty neat. Literally every person here is sunburned. It's crazy. Ah, tourists. This is the best. So the British Pound buys so much more over here. This is what me and Jen bought. <laughs> and then there's Daryl and Jen. Well, but to be fair, I put everything in one bag. I kept telling him I didn't need another oh, bag. Yeah, to be fair, there's bags within bags in here. So. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> we brought the British friends to a, uh, a shack called Gnarly Barley with delicious food and great beers. Goodness gracious. I feel bad for Jen though, because she got the half and half. It looks so tiny. But mine looks so massive. Yeah, I'm not gonna show you guys gnarly barley. I'm gonna show you guys this wall. Wheat. Yeah, it looks nice, doesn't it? We're back at it tomorrow, so we're gonna go to Bush Gardens now tomorrow, which is gonna be another long day. Today was a relaxing day, even though we didn't really get to relax. We went out crazy shopping all day long, but it was a good day. So I will see you guys tomorrow. Now it's time to pay the price.